I want to say something and I pray it really gets into your mind very deeply. God will lead you if you let him. And you may wonder like, Uncle Kev, what are you talking about? God will lead you if you let him. For instance, I am in a situation that I knew nothing about. I knew nothing about it. A bad situation. I have fasted, I have prayed, and I believe God gave me the answer. Not only that, I believe he has given me information where I can help other people with advice. Not only that, I am learning to be better in Christ. I am maturing more in Christ. Many people may not know what to do. Many people may not know what to say. Many people may not know the way to go. But I believe if you place God first in your life, if you really depend on him, if you really have a prayer life, if you have a fasting life, if you really acknowledge God, I believe he will lead you to where you need to go, to what you should say, to what you should do, who to speak to and who not to speak to. I believe God will lead you if you let him. You know, some people may fear the future they may wonder, uh, what if we run out of food? What if we run out of money? What are we going to do? Blah, 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 blah. You know, myself, I don't really, how can I say this? I don't really fear the future on what I am going to eat and where will I live and where will I go and where will I work at and stuff. My mind don't really go on those things. I am trying to tell you it really doesn't. My mind is focused, okay, how can I mature more in Christ? How can I become a better person? How can I interact with people better as in being more humble, being more peaceful, things like that. I know if I choose to do right by God, he is going to, I am going to say it like this, he is going to carve my way for me, if that makes any sense. Or should I say, he will lead me down the path I should go. I remember maybe two or more years ago, um, a person wanted me to do something. And um, the person was saying, well, what if you get older? You know, you got to be concerned about, you know, this and that and blah, blah, blah. This, this may happen to you and blah, 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 blah. And in a earthly sense, I guess that person is right, I guess. Or should I say, maybe I should not say he is right, but let's say that um, I guess he is right in his own mind. <laughs> But what that person was speaking about, my mind is not on that. My mind is on what? On focusing on living for God. I know if my focus is on living for God, God is going to lead me down the right path. 
And I think that is the problem with many people. Yes, we need money. Yes, we need to pay bills and stuff like that. But I believe some people's focus is on success and money. But you are going to die one day. What if you get really, really sick? Okay, let's say you live your life mainly for money. And let's say you get really, really sick. Then you go to this hospital and that hospital and this hospital over there, over here. Now, what is going to happen to your money? Like, your money is probably going to be gone. I try to keep my mind spiritually, mostly, I would say. I try to keep it mostly spiritually. With me, I don't care about worldly success. I don't care about worldly popularity. Oh, I want to be famous and I want many people to like me and stuff like that. I don't really care about those things. Yes, I want uh, more people to view my channel and stuff like that. I guess success in that, I guess. But in many other things, I don't really care because what are those things really going to do for me when I leave the earth? I believe what we do in Christ will last. <clears throat> so if this be the case, let me focus on godly things. Let me focus on how I can help people, how I can, uh, you know, cheer some people up and how, you know, I can be like a humble person uh, showing humility and stuff like that. Let me learn how to be meek. These things are very, very important. Some people may think I am wise or whatever else like that. And that is not really the case. What I do, I believe I try so hard to depend on God. There are many things I don't know. There are many things there were and probably will be many situations where i did not know what to do or what to say and where to go and stuff like that do you know what i do <clears throat> much of the time i pray and ask god god i don't know what to do please show me direct me on what to do on what to say and where to go. God, I have this problem. Please, uh, you know, I pray about the problem. Maybe within that day or maybe a time after. Not really giving it like a specific time period. A lot of the time. I receive answers on what to do sometimes i may pray about the same thing and let's say i received an answer on what to do and let's say i don't really want to do it so i may pray again and it may seem like god is being silent or should i say the holy spirit the holy spirit god Let's say that God is being silent to me. Then I believe I know that I should do what I believe what God gave me to do. Or should I say told me to do. Which, let me say this, which I believe it is the Holy Spirit that communicates with us 
in different ways. And I am not saying like I heard like a particular voice say it to me. I believe the Holy Spirit can communicate to us through our thoughts and and I believe sometimes probably through dreams and stuff like that. I don't know. What I am mainly trying to say, let God lead you. Let God direct you. I believe if you do it in that way, you will be more successful, not saying as in rich and stuff like that, successful as in when there's a problem, I believe you can successfully get through it. Or should I say successfully conquer it? For instance, I am in a situation now. And I believe I have received answers on what to do. Now, am I finished with the issue that I have now? Probably not. But even though, let's say it takes five or ten years for it to be finished, even if it takes that long, I believe if I continue to do what I am told by God, I believe that I can overcome the situation that I am in now. You know, I say God, but maybe I should say the Holy Spirit. So I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.